Hiya colleagues, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Angelova, assistant at the Department of uh, Conservative and Pediatric Dentistry. And uh, today I will have uh, the pleasure uh, to inform you about uh, the main, the basic principles concerning uh, cavity preparation of second class uh, cavity forms. Uh, we'll have a kind of a short presentation and afterwards uh, we'll um, make a realization of these principles concerning uh, phantom course practical classes. Uh, first of all, a short uh, definition of uh, these lesions and their main characteristics. Approximately uh, or occlusively approximately located lesions of heart teeth structures which are related with the necessity of preparation of occlusive approximal cavity form combined with specific retention. Please pay attention to the last two words, specific retention, because this is very important uh, to have uh, this uh, in mind, to take these two words into uh, uh, account. Let's see. First of all, the vestibular oral size of the approximal part of cavity form determines the type of this retention. In the biggest, we mean gingival based vestibular oral size of the approximal part of cavity form is transferred on occlusive surface and does not go beyond the connecting uh, first cusps, then the furrow shaped retention is prepared before these cusps. Furrow shaped retention, first type. Then, second type retentions. In cases when this definite size of the approximal part of the cavity form reaches the line of linkage of the first cusps, then T and G shaped uh, macro retention is prepared behind them. Now we will continue in the, uh, in the other hall uh, where are our phantoms, you know, and uh, we'll have our practical classes of second class cavity preparation. We'll work on tooth 8 5. Now all of you uh, will be delivered hand pieces uh, by uh, our nurse uh, Eva Novak. Uh, you will have the appropriate burrs and uh, also uh, you will be delivered uh, with these teeth, plastic teeth. Uh, as I've already mentioned, today we will work on lower second molar, the right lower second molar. Uh, just some short uh, words uh, as a as an introduction concerning uh, inclusive relief uh, and some of logical characteristics of this group. You know, it is uh, characterized uh, by three cusps uh, on the vestibular surface and two on the lingual one. Uh, we have these uh, specific contours uh, of uh, the occlusive relief with its uh, central fissure and size uh, fissures and forks. Uh, second class cavity preparation, which will be with the retention, including the whole central fissure with its sides uh, 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 elongations. Uh, that means the vestibular oral size of the proximal part of the cavity uh, preparation is bigger than this intercuspal distance, uh, meaning uh, the intercuspal line of the first cusps on the occlusive surface. So, uh, please pay attention to the fact that the vestibular and oral wall of the proximal part should be converging in occlusive direction. We should avoid such mistakes of making diverging or parallel walls. Mm -hmm. Just converging, coming near to one another in the opposing direction. The uh, widest will be at the zone of the gingival base and the narrowest will be uh, in opposing direction, as I've mentioned. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 